Next up is my large, a well, larger balsam fir. I really like this tree. There's a lot of movement in these main branches. Might end up cutting this leader off. It's pretty straight eventually, but it's pretty weak looking everywhere, so I'm just gonna let it grow. I also have a very weak looking little spruce, I think. I'm not sure if that even made it. Made up a little pot for it just in case, but I think I'll put the That should work okay. Put in there. Let's see what we're working with. I don't see any roots coming out the sides at all. Yeah, that looks, looks black and all dead there. Don't think that's alive. It's got some green, but well, not worth saving at this point. I'm running low on pots anyways. Not much fine root on there. Looks pretty fused together there. Those roots kind of cross. One of them will have to go in the future, but for now I think I can just... I need to keep everything for now. I just kind of uncrossed them a little bit or crossed them in a better way, I guess. I don't know. It's either that or maybe I can do that, try and get them to grow side by side. Yeah, we'll see. This tree has a lot of character. I think I can maybe model it after one of those kind of African is it a sarissa tree or maybe Nigel's is the sarissa tree that he modeled after the big African landscape tree. I forget what it's called.
There we go. Let's hope it does well in this new soil. I really want to keep this tree. Like I said, it's got a lot of character. It's pretty cool.